Welcome back po dito sa Men of Light, mga kaparokya. Pinag-uusapan pa rin po natin ang Gospel of Matthew chapter 4, verses 12 to 23. At ang pamagat po ng ating episode ay Changes. Sa unang bahagi po ng ating uh, discussion kanina ay uh, pinag-usapan po natin yung tungkol doon sa pagkakaaresto ni San Juan Bautista and Jesus withdrawing to Galilee. And uh, we talked about the need to withdraw or to retreat to familiar space you know, in order to regroup ourselves para makabuelo. And the second part, ayun ng pagbuelo. No? Jesus leaving Nazareth and going to the unfamiliar ground of Capernaum, pero hindi na siya intimidated. No? Now, dito sa third part, I, well, the wonderful thing is that the disciple, the former disciple, becomes the teacher. Yeah. and proclaims the message of his former mentor. And uh, ito, yung, ito yung change na pag-usapan natin ngayon because not only is he changed, he proclaims change. Yeah. Ang kanyang message ay metanoia. Pagbabago. Yeah, pagbabago. Ang sabi niyang, repent. Sayang, the word repent. <laughs> Medyo lame ng konti yung translation. Eh. Kasi metanoiete sa, sa, sa Greek, no? Ibig sabihin, change uh, have a change of heart Apo. have a change of perspective Apo. have a change of orientation gusto, gusto ko rin pong ilagay sa konteksto itong sinasabi ni Bishop in a sense that all of this is happening in a very uh, un- unpleasant unpleasant background that's right oh. hindi lang po parang John was arrested John was uh, in prison John also sa terrible parang tragic and brutal death para pong itong pinag-uusapan nating changes na eh, parang napaka-cute na parang please uh, we believe that all of this that we're saying is not e- parang it's easier said than done yeah of course yeah. kami rin po we are going through changes yeah. ourselves but at least yung looking back and trying to to put sense into these experiences yeah. of of giving space and time to ourselves going to our comfort zone our home our sense of protection and strength stepping up and then taking up the mission and the yeah. challenge all of these sometimes yun nga they happen in very ugly situation like yeah. like what happened to John no yeah. yung uh, parang we're not parang sugar coating mm-hmm. reality yeah. and uh, alam po natin na uh, we have our own story to tell but hopefully our sharing itong sinasabi ni Bishop na pagbabago yung pagkambyo towards that taking up the mission is something para sa akin ito po yung pena ultimate na Uh, gracia ng pagbabago eh. Alam yeah. Father Deo, ano pa lang to, ah? arrest pa lang to. Oh. Then he's going to withdraw again later on when, when he, he is, will be. When John the Baptist is executed. executed. That's even more painful yeah. for Jesus. No? Yeah. Pero yung, yung the call of the moment because Jesus is responding to the yeah. call. Eh. Remember, it all began with a call. Mm-hmm. Parang naramdaman niya yung yeah. sa puso niya ang tinig. Yeah. Ang tinig na nanggaling sa langit, you are my son. Yeah. At, uh, Bigla ko lang ano yung the call of the moment, no? Anong 13, January 13, nagkita-kita kami mga yung naging choir noong 76 to 80s. Mamichu, <laughs> medyo. O kaya, di pa yata ano, sinilang ano, yung ibang Yung mga ibang mga kalbo na sabi okay, nga sa kasabahan okay. namin, sunset, sunrise. Pero <laughs> okay, okay, okay. okay. ang saya namin noong January 13, uh, na mga edad, nagkita kami sa Santa Ana, no? Pero yung isang kabarkada namin, yung sa choir, yung choir, ang, ang Paris Press namin noong sa Santa Ana, si... Uh, Monsignor Greg Torres. Ah, pong siya, pong Greg Torres. Oh, Tingnan during that time. Oh, yes, yes. Okay, okay. So, yun niya. Matagal-tagal na yun, ha, Father Chin. More than 30 years. 30 years ago. <laughs> okay. Kaya, pinag-usapan nga namin. Pero yung oh. isang nakakatuwa doon, yung, sabi, yung isang uh, klase, siya, yung tamo. batch 80 namin sa high school. Yeah. Uh, yung isang kasamahan namin sa batch 80 sa high school, sa Holy Cross. Uh, kung dati yung sinasabi niya, yung ganito, ngayon biglang nagbago. Kasi nung nag, nag-reunion, sabi niya, uh, ang reunion ba palaging yung ano na lang, yung hi, hello, kumusta ka na, saan ka nakatira ngayon, wow, gumanda ka, wow, guwapo mo, wow, yaman mo na ngayon, wow, tumaba, wow, tumaba ka, wow, wow may lichon, kaya tayo, inuman tayo, tapos, bye-bye. Ganyan ba yung reunion, sabi niya. Pwede bang mag-suggest yung, pwede bang sa reunion natin, tignan natin yung mga, mga kaklase natin medyo mahirap, tulungan natin yung mga, yung mga anak nila. Yeah. Sabi doon ng mga ibang kaklase, wow, so, ito, ito ba yung kaklase natin? No. <laughs> But parang may pagbaan, laki ng pagbabago. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Laki ng pagbabago. No? So, yun nga yung ginawa nila nung ito na 
last Christmas, gumawa sila ng panuluyan uh -huh. sa mga panulu yung sa mga kaklase naming high school na yung sa uh, iba, pinuntahan nila yung iba, pinasyalan. Hmm. Tapos, uh, worth ata ang mga 1,000 pesos na groceries. Pinuntahan, yeah. tapos sabi na, oh, namimiss namin kayo after 30 years. So, mga, eh, mga ilan, ilan tao yung, pinunta, yung mga kaklase na. Talagang yeah. labig yung kumanta sila, nagkaraling sila, tapos binigyan nila ng... So, nanggaling doon sa isang tao, sa isang kaklase namin. Pero yun nga, bago yun... So, the, the disciple became a teacher. Oo nga. Okay. <laughs> parang gano'n yung, yung yeah, that's call of the moment. Oo yun. nga. Oo, nag-respond siya. Kasi yung... Alam mo, it's, it's um, usually more comfortable to remain a, uh, a student, eh, mm -hmm. a disciple. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Kasi nakaupo ka lang doon. Oh. Kahit nga Kawa sa atin... Kawa pagod pag uh, estudyante, medyo ano lang, sunod ka lang oh, doon sa teacher. Di ba, yung uh, mga ordinary church-going Catholic, minsan tama na sa kanila, yung mm -hmm. pumapasok ng simbahan, makinig sa Ebanghelyo, mm -hmm. makinig sa Humilia, ganun. But how many people really reach that point when hindi na sapat sa kanila yung makinig lang ng ebanghelyo mm -hmm. o hindi na sapat yung magsimba lang sila and they start to volunteer in the parish. Mm -hmm. They start to take part in the mission of the community, mission of the church. Parang ito yung kuminsan mga transitions na kailangan mangyari sa buhay natin. Kaya nga, kuminsan gusto ko rin naririnig yung mga kwento ng ibang mga volunteers in the parish. Eh. Parang how did it happen na nag-participate ka na? How did it happen na na binolunteer mo yung sarili mo and you're now taking part in the ministry of the church. Di ba? Yeah. Parang nalalok sa Paris sa uh, model, no? yung supervisor doon, yeah. yung supervisor. Mm -hmm. Noon na, tapos yung pag nagsisimba, nine o'clock, uh, tapos misan, tapos nung pakunti-unti, Father, pwede bang mag, ano sa, paano pumapasok ba yung complex? Oo, oh, no. yeah. so, ganito po, mag, mag, uh, mag-attend kayo ng meeting ng complex uh, three times, so para tapos, So, yung proseso niya, yun, uh -huh. magkita mo supervisor, tapos biglang magiging studyante na ano ulit, ang nag-guide siya kanya, yung kanyang isang teacher. Yeah, yeah. So, paano ba paging maging lector? Tapos, o ganito, ganito sabi. So, ngayon, naging, yung mam, kung dati siya yung leader, ngayon, siya na naman yung disciple, pero siya dati na naman panahon, siya na naman yung magiging yeah, leader. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Isa sa mga fulfillment ko as a parish priest ngayon, yung makita yung ibang mga, yung mga kaparokya, mga lay leaders na, tipong uh, nakikita mo nagmamature and then mm -hmm. and then when they begin to take part in the work of evangelizing napaka satisfying nun. Opo. parang hindi na enough for them to be evangelized but mm -hmm. they now become evangelizing Opo. fellow evangelizers di ba they are also already taking part in the proclamation of the good news y ito yung uh, parang ito yung nakikita kong challenge dito sa third part and eh, that uh, That when when the student becomes a teacher, mm -hmm. when the student uh, is uh, already uh, preaching, preaching also the good news, no. Um, nung nag-share kasi ako dun sa Second Plenary Council of the Philippines. Eh, yes, it it. No, tapos, review, uh, review. Yeah, parang review. Tapos pinag-uusapan namin yung model na community of disciples. Mm -hmm. okay. Alam naman natin, disciples are followers, mm -hmm. hindi ba? Maybe there was an interesting question about yung uh, tungkol dun sa uh, hindi pa pwedeng i-apply yung apostles. Kasi ang, ang parang ang sensitivity lang doon ay yung tipong madalas sina-apply yung apostles only to the bishops kasi the yeah. bishops are seen as successors of the apostles. And yet literally an apostle means one who is sent to represent mm -hmm. the Lord. Eh hindi ba that applies to all of us? Yes, why not? Parang ang pagiging Kristiyano ay eh, hindi lang pagiging disipulo forever. Mm -hmm. ba? Diba? It's also, uh, it's a call to become apostles yes, too. To share in that work of mission, uh, of being sent to represent Christ. Kaya sabi ko nga, we're not just called to, uh, we're not just called to be Christians, we're called to be Christ, to make Christ present. So, in our person, kasi ba diba, yun yung theology of sacramentality, Parang through the grace of baptism, we are able to uh, make Christ present through our own no, work and mission. Uh, naalala ko po yung discussion minsan sa midlife crisis. Yeah. No? Uh, yung midlife crisis po, hindi naman po ano yan, uh, parang divide mo yung buhay mo, 80, 40 crisis, <laughs> midlife yun. No? It can happen in any time that there is a transition in life. Oh, yeah. 
Uh, meron nga pong parang course noon na tinake yung isang kasama kong pare sa MOS. Uh-huh. Yung title eh, Managing Transitions in Life. Talaga, may uh-huh. ganyan. Ah. Oh, meron ho. Uh-huh. Sa MOS, uh, this is also ma- run by... Uh, parang nga lang pala mga anger management, uh-huh. conflict management. Meron palang change uh-huh. management. Managing transitions, transitions in life. In parang life, changes, uh-huh. mga kambyo sa buhay. Uh-huh. At uh, yung isa pong input doon, parang naalala ko yung... Kung minsan nagkakaroon ng crisis daw sa buhay, sometimes we call it midlife, pag may pagbabago na hindi natin alam kung saan nang gagaling, o hindi so, natin matanggap at hindi natin alam kung anong gawin. Yeah. Pwede pong kumisan yung parang dati malilit yung mga bata, biglang malalaki na. Yeah. Biglang dati you are struggling for economic uh, survival, now you are already uh, para bang affluent. Parang yeah. these are changes na if you don't know how to manage it, pwede kang mag-lustay, mag-beer house, mag-casino, mag-wala. Kasi dati, wala. O kaya no, dati, dati guwapo change. ka, matipuno ka, atletik ka, biglang... Naging... Hindi uh, <laughs> 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 na. Hindi na. O ganyan. O parang dati kang malakas, bigla kang nagkasakit. O hindi ka na pinapansin. <laughs> dating maraming... It can uh, be yeah. anything, but parang yung midlife it only becomes a crisis only if you don't realize a crisis also is an opportunity yes. not a breakdown but oh. a breakthrough yeah. not some kind of a tombstone but a stepping stone that's right parang yeah. di ba po noon nagkaroon tayo ng parang discussion on yeah. stepping stones yeah yung stepping stones you have to let go of one stone only yeah. to move to another yeah. but di ba kaya nga ho, the word crisis means judgment eh. it's really a situation that calls for a new judgment mm-hmm. Itong new judgment, ito yung pinipreach ni Jesus dito, na metanoia. It's a call to a new way of perceiving reality, yes. di ba? Sabi so, nga ni... Oh, okay. Oh. Diba sabi nga ni ba, pag may crisis ka, maganda ka sa mabuting balitang nakatago dyan. Yeah. Kasi <laughs> yeah. talaga ma- maraming magagandang balita. Oh, the good news of the kingdom usually comes, uh, hindi, hindi lang sa mga... Sa mga oh. magandang ano. Okay. Um, babalik pa po ang Men of Light at uh, sa huling bahagi ay uh, gusto po namin i-acknowledge sa inyong mga text messages and of course we will end with uh, prayer. Stay with us please. <music> 